In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the battery on the iPhone 7. Begin by powering down the device, then take a pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two screws either side of the lightning port at the bottom of the phone. With those out of the way and stored safely for later, I'm going to take a single-sided razor blade and create a small gap in between the edge of the screen and the chassis of the phone. And I'm just going to pry backwards until we've got a small opening, just big enough to fit in the little plastic guitar pick like that. Then we can slide that pick along now, only inserting it a couple of millimeters, just enough so that it separates the front screen away from the edges of the phone. Lots of people will recommend using heat with this, but there's no real need because we're only lifting it a couple of millimeters away. You might find that it turns on whilst we've accidentally pressed the power button, but that's okay. Just turn it off when you can. Once you've run around the three edges, don't worry about the top edge because we can just lift it up like that from the bottom, give it a wiggle, and this phone opens up just like opening a book from the back cover. A weighted object behind the phone like a mug will help it from falling over, freeing up both hands so that you can work on the rest of the device. Bonus points if it's an eye doctor mug as well because they work proper mint. Sometimes you might be able to notice some visible swelling on the battery. Don't worry too much about that, but just make sure they handle this very carefully. Continuing with the repair, we can use a tri-wing Y000 screwdriver to remove these four screws that hold down this L-shaped shield. Store the screws safely for later in the order that you remove them, and then use tweezers to remove the shield. Next, take a plastic spudger and use that to disconnect the battery connector from just here like that, and then do the same again with these two screen connectors. Don't try and remove the screen just yet, because we've still got a cable for the front camera and ear speaker up the top. Use your small Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws that hold down the little straight shield. Remove the shield using tweezers and then use your plastic spudger to disconnect the flex cable. That means that the screen is now free from the phone and you can just pull it away, removing any of the leftover adhesive from the edges of the screen whilst you take it away. Store that safely for reinstallation later. Now I'm going to get some isopropyl alcohol. It's best in these little needle tip bottles like this one. And I'm just going to sort of inject a bit underneath the battery in a couple of places at the bottom and the top of the phone. Or bottom and top of the battery, should I say. And then I'm just going to let that set settle in or soak in for a few minutes. Whilst that is soaking in, it's a good time to remove the rest of the adhesive seal from around the edges of the chassis if you've still got some of that left. The best tool that we've found is one of these little X-Acto blades. This is a number 17 size one. You can also use the 4A size one, which is a little bit smaller than this one. A toothbrush will be helpful to get any remaining dust and dirt from the edges. Just run it around those edges. If you feel the need to, add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol just to soften up that uh, dust that might be stuck in there and just get it nice and clean, ready for the new seal and buying ourselves a little bit of time whilst the alcohol soaks in underneath the old battery. After a few minutes, the adhesive should be soaked in alcohol and you can just start with some tweezers now to get under this little tab on the battery. And what I'm doing is sort of just winding it, winding that adhesive strip around my tweezers so that I've got enough to give it a good pull and then I can wiggle it from side to side to pull it out. It's quite tricky and takes a bit of practice not to let these tabs snap. But what I do, I just pull out an inch or so, wrap it around it, do the same again, until like I can get my fingers on this one now and just pull it out an inch at a time. And it's pretty easy to pull out. A lot of people make a meal out of these, but on devices, iPhone 8 and older, they're pretty easy to remove. Repeat the same on the other tab, getting hold of it from the bottom like that, wrapping it around the tweezers, nice and easy and then just wiggle it from side to side to get it started until you've got enough of it out so that you can just pull it and it's pretty easy with those adhesive strips pulled from underneath it we can just literally pull the battery out now and that can be discarded or recycled following your local recycling guidelines i'm just going to soak up any leftover alcohol from underneath the battery and if you've got any adhesive what's snapped or got left behind, just make sure that you remove that before installing your new one. We like these TX Pro batteries from a local company called The Screen Surgery. 
and it comes with the battery which is wrapped in like a plastic film make sure that you remove that i've seen batteries where people don't remove the film and they're moving around causing problems lay the battery face down because it comes with the proper adhesive seal remove the blue side of the seal first place it on top of the battery and then it's a good idea to use some kind of spudger just to flatten it down a bit and it's a good idea to use some kind of squeegee tool just to flatten it down i can't find my squeegee so i'm just going to use the back edge of the pick just to make sure that it's stuck real nice peel off that little blue bit there and fold over the battery and then we can peel off that pink bit just now and this tip listen to me or don't listen to me but i know for a fact that this is quite important it's quite easy to misalign the battery uh, vertically like that to avoid that if you connect the battery first just like that and then lay the battery down into the chassis you'll never ever misalign the battery the other option is to place it too high and then you have trouble and you have to bend this flex cable to make it fit if you do it that way it's going to fit every time just make sure that you disconnect the battery before you carry on reassembling the device. Continuing with the repair now, we need to replace the dust and moisture resistant seal, which I always line up in the top left hand corner first, following it down this left hand edge, and then allowing it to settle nicely across the rest of the chassis. And then you can just use the back edge of the spudger or the flat edge of the spudger, sorry, to secure it down before peeling off the top film. Just have a quick look at your old screen, what we're going to reinstall to make sure that there's no adhesive still stuck onto the screen because it will cause a problem if there's just odd bits of adhesive still stuck to it. And then offer up the screen. I always grab this small connector first, lining it up, connecting it like that. Then we can pop our mug. Then we can pop our mug behind the screen again, rest it up like that. And then this one should line up a little easier this time just like that and then a lot of the staff here when they first start they struggle with this top flex because it is a little bit springy and it's a bit awkward but if you use some bent tweezers like this grab it like that and then line it up apply pressure you'll never ever have trouble securing that springy flex again whilst we're up this top end we can re-secure this shield into place and screw in the two crosshead screws that hold that down make sure they're nice and tight and now we'll move on to reconnecting the battery here. We shouldn't have any problems lining it up because if you remember, we lined it up properly before. And then we can install the shield on top. And then you've got the tri-wing screws that hold that down. The longer of the four of these screws goes on this far edge here, because that goes all the way through the board into the chassis. So just make sure that you don't put a long screw in either of these. Now we can peel off the remainder of the dust and moisture resistant seal. You might find that it comes off in three pieces and it's easiest to get this back piece off if you fold the screen down first and then peel it off from the right side like that. Then to secure the screen down, we're just gonna make sure that it lines up in the top of the device first, squeeze it in on the, this edge. And then when you're securing this edge, just make sure that this flex cable here doesn't get snagged in the chassis or get nipped by the screen because that will cause problems and just squeeze it in like that before finally reinstalling the two pentalobe screws in the bottom of the phone. I'll just use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and a clean wipe to clean up the screen because you can see my mucky fingerprints all over it and then we'll just head to settings and make sure that the battery health has been updated in there and that just about completes this replacement of the iPhone 7 battery Thank you for watching, see you next time.